What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video and I'm going to be very honest and upfront with you as I always am. I'm only making this video to laugh at the pain of Sly Cooper fans. It just brings me such joy, such elation that Sly Cooper fans will never get what they want. It just brings me pure unbridled joy. I'm only making this video so I can literally sip the tears off of your face that stems from the anguish that you will never, ever get another Sly Cooper game. I am visiting the grave, right, of all Sly Cooper fans' hopes and dreams, and I am spitting on the headstone. That's what this video is. It's, a, it's more of a celebration for me. It's pain for y'all, but it's a celebration for me because I'm happy about it because I don't give a damn about Sly Cooper and all of you have been shackled, hanging on to this hope that you're eventually going to get another Sly Cooper game because there's been rumors for like, you know, over, it feels like over a year. Oh, it's going to come back. Now we knew that Sucker Punch obviously wasn't going to be making it, right? Sony First Party Studios almost never, rarely, if never, go back to previous franchises after they moved on to a new franchise, right? Now, the recent Sly Cooper game, I believe, was made by Sumo Digital, but Sumo Digital was bought by Amazon or somebody else. I believe it was Amazon, but I could be mistaken, could be somebody else. Um, and there was a rumor, I believe the most recent rumor, was that it was uh, being developed by another Sony first party studio, Pixel Opus, which recently made Concrete Genie. So, you know, that could be, um, you know, that would be plausible and understandable. But based on what I'm about to read, that's not happening either. So uh, it's just a great celebration. You know, I know a bunch of Sly Cooper fans in, you know, this community, such as Jack Move. You know, he's in love with this rabid, uh, you know, ravenous, uh, rabies-filled raccoon with a kleptomania problem. Oh, he's just in love with him. So I'm just tap dancing on Jack Move's head right now, and it feels magnificent. And all the rest of these... Sly Cooper diehards pretending to be Sly Cooper diehards that acting like, oh, yeah, it's a big game. And if it came out, a whole bunch of people would just be, you know, running through a brick wall for it. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Y'all are, are just irrelevant little peons who care about this game and this franchise. It's never coming back and it never should come back. So, yeah, I just I just feel so good today. Uh, that's Sucker Punch came out with this news that I'm about to read right now. So let's 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 go ahead and take a look. Oh, uh, not that. Those are just some previous recorded files. Uh, so let's take a look. So it's the it's titled, and this is the sucker punch sucker punch blog. Uh, upcoming infamous two UGC maintenance and legacy franchise. It says as we approach uh, 25 years since since sucker punch first opened, we are proud to look back on our legacy of characters and stories we've created from Rocket Robot on Wheels to Sly Cooper Infamous and the most recent Ghost of Tsushima. As our games continue to grow in scale and complexity, they require full attention of our studio with our focus on our current project. They're confirming they're working on something new. We don't know. Some people speculate it could be a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm not sure if I I'm not against a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, but I feel like Ghost of Tsushima on its own was a very full and complete story. Not that saying they couldn't come up with something to add to it, but I feel like that story is just very much complete. Um, it says we have no plans to revisit Infamous or Sly Cooper right now, and no other studio is currently working on on projects related to those franchises either. Just just put the knife in and yeah, twist that joint right in the right in the freaking heart, sucker punch. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, these characters are very special and near and dear to our hearts. So while we never say never to reopening those doors down the road, bro, stop giving them hope. Man, no, give them hope. I'm okay with it. keep giving them hope just so this can be a, a pain point that I can continue to like, just kind of like, you know, put my finger in the wound and just, you know, just pour salt in it even. Um, so yeah, keep giving them hope. It's never going to happen though. And for now, there are no infamous or Sly Cooper games in development. Now, listen, let me make one thing clear. Love infamous. Infamous is great. Fantastic. Sly Cooper, don't give a damn about it. But even me who loves infamous, 
I don't want them to go back to it because I'm just somebody with that's level headed that believes that these it's better when these studios go forward instead of going back. What it's so funny to me that people don't realize you're not going to you realize you wouldn't have a Sly Cooper. You wouldn't have a have an infamous if they stayed on their previous on their previous games. You wouldn't have a, a Sly Cooper if they stayed on on their previous games. You get what I'm saying? The, the fact that you want these games to come back, isn't that also the reason why they should keep moving forward because they made some of your favorite games? That's how I look at it. I'm like, listen, they did something great. I enjoyed it. But the fact that they did something great is another reason why I want them to move forward because it's likely because of their talent, skill, and creativity that they'll create something else even better, which is what they did with Ghost of Tsushima. Look at, just look at the timeline, right? Sly Cooper, I can't, I can't at the moment, I can't even think of what they uh, made before Sly Cooper, but um, Sly Cooper, inf infamous uh, Ghost of Tsushima. You see the growth there? Do you see the growth? Now, that that's clearly an upward trajectory, right? So, if they went from Sly Cooper to Infamous to Ghost of Tsushima, just imagine what they make next. Doesn't that excite you? Isn't, isn't that what you want them to do? Yes, I know these studios work on multiple projects, a lot of them, but Sucker Punch is actually a pretty small studio for what they for the game they've made. That's why Ghost of Tsushima took so damn long to come out. Like I can't remember the, I can't remember their exact studio size. I'll look it up right now, but it was pretty it I feel like it was around 150 employees. It might have been less than 200. Let's see. Sucker Punch studio size. They're they're one of the more undersized Sony studios. So the so what they made, that's another reason why what they made with Ghost of Tsushima is so impressive. Let's see. So based on this, uh, what date is this? Um, damn, I'm looking for a date. So based on a Google search, they have less. No, they 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 have close to 200 employees. It, it they they've this this 175, but they've grown since then. So it's between probably, they're probably hovering around 200 employees, which is pretty small because these some of these other like Sony studios have easily 300 plus, studio, uh, 300 plus staff, right? So they're smaller and they're saying, this is what also what they said, they have to focus on their current project because they, you know, they ain't, they ain't got the size like that. Um, even though I do agree, whatever they're working on, they should increase the size of Sucker Punch. Um, move, them, move them into a new uh, studio if, if you need to. Sony does that a lot. They move, you know, as a studio grows, they move uh, the studio and all that. Uh, they said, we, we know many people still play these games even today, so we'll be performing maintenance on infamous to UGC service UGC service servers soon to move them uh, to a new home and and that will keep them up and running a bit longer we will eventually need to sunset these but want them want to keep them running as long as possible for players who are active I believe those servers that they're talking about in infamous infamous had that uh, that like player uh, what do you call that thing where players could create um, their chat their own challenges in infamous 2 online in a way and like play them and play them That's what I believe they're talking about. Uh, they said we're also Working to put Cole's legacy DLC for infamous uh, Second Son which was previously only available as part of the collection edition on the PlayStation Store in all territories for anybody who missed it Thank you for 24 years of incredible support Yada yada yada. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah So Point is, you're not getting another infamous. I mean, you're not, well, yeah, you're not getting another infamous. Um, you're not getting another Sly Cooper, definitely. And listen, somebody like me, if I can put aside the fact that I love infamous so much, y'all should be able to put aside the fact that y'all love this trashy, crummy little, uh, you know, anthropomorphic, kleptomaniac, uh, rabid raccoon. Put it aside because what they're working on is definitely better than that. Get over it. Get over yourselves. I pray that all of you are freed from the shackles of wanting this average game. This is like if you listen, I'm sorry. If you made a tier list of platformers of all time. 
Sly is down here. I'm sorry. It's it's down here. Right? When you think of all the platformers of all time, if if I'm nice, if I'm being generous, it's in the C tier. C minus, honestly. It's at the back of the C tier. I ain't gonna give it a D. I'm gonna put it in the C. See, I could be reasonable. I can be objective. But let's be real. It's it's Sly Cooper, bro. Come on. Y'all got what did y'all get? Four games out of it? Be happy. You got four games. That's enough for this this little platformer. Like, please move on with your lives. It's not gonna happen anymore. It's donezo. Wrap it up, stick a fork in it, take it to the back of the yard, you know, in the back of the barn, put it down. Um, y'all y'all need to get over this. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to help y'all move past this little blockade, this little mental block that y'all have and uh, you know, I want what's best, best for y'all. You know, um, my, 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 my bullying, my, you know, my harsh words are honestly only to help all of you move on. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely get a kick out of it and I'm not going to pretend that I don't. So, uh, point is, um, Sly Cooper is no longer relevant. So, uh, I mean, that's sucker punch and PlayStation is telling y'all that, you know, it's no longer, no longer relevant. We're not going to, we're not going to, you know dwell on something like sly cooper it's beneath them i'm so it's beneath them bro come on like y'all don't really see how like yeah y'all don't see how how insane it would be from a studio that made something as grand and like amazing on a technical feat story feat graphical feat uh gameplay feat like ghost of tsushima was all of that like technically it was great like mechanically and gameplay wise, it had way more mechanics than anybody expected. And y'all want them to go back to making some simple minded platformer. Why would you want to do that to them? That's like you. That's like you like being 10 years into your career and you've gotten four promotions. You know, you're I, I don't you're, you're exec. You're an exec now. And someone telling, hey, you should go back to, you know, running papers to the stapler and the copier, like in the copy machine. Like, why would you do that? You've worked your way up from there. You've gone through the trenches and the tests and the trials and the obstacles. You're you're above that now because your skills, your knowledge and everything you've obtained throughout, you know, your, your time has evolved you. You want to go back to making copies? And sending faxes now? Why? I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand that mentality. I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense to me. Sucker Punch, they are above that now. Sly Cooper is beneath them. And if you notice, I'm not saying infamous because, yes, even though they're saying they're not going to work on infamous either, I'm absolutely biased against Sly Coopers. And I'm acknowledging that. I don't care. I don't feel bad about it. I want to step on y'all, <laughs> how y'all feel about this game. I'm stepping on it. Big Timberland boot, too. I'm stepping on it. I don't care. Completely biased. So, um, yeah. That's my uh, thoughts on this. Stop trying to uh, hold Sucker Punch back, because that's what you would be doing by, you know, proposing this nonsense that they make an a Sly Cooper game. Please stop it. It is beneath them, quite frankly. All right, so uh, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.